Hey everyone, welcome back to PolSci 702, Advanced Techniques of Political Science Research. This is the last week where we cover aspects of linear regression before we move on to generalized linear models. And specifically what we're going to talk about this week is transformations and other topics related to linear regression. Uh, so here's a quick outline. Uh, there are just two parts uh, for this week. In the first um, set of videos, we're going to talk about linear, logarithmic, and other types of transformations uh, for linear regression, both to improve interpretation and to improve model fit. Uh, and then in the second uh, kind of set of videos, um, or in the, in the second video, I'm going to talk about building and comparing regression models for prediction. Okay, so there we're going to talk a little bit, summarizing a little bit what strategies we can apply uh, if we have a predi prediction task and want to build uh, a, a well fitting regression model that doesn't overfit. Okay, um, <clears throat> uh, and that'll summarize basically. Uh, our first half of the semester where we cover linear regression and uh, after spring break uh, we'll uh, continue with uh, discrete outcomes, modeling discrete outcomes, uh, linear um, logistic regression uh, and more general generalized linear models. Okay, so this will be kind of the wrap up uh, of our um, um, first part covering linear regression. Okay, uh, so here's the to-do list for this week. Um, as always, uh, watch the lecture videos and go through the code that is available on our Studio Cloud uh, that is available to replicate all the figures that I'm showing and all the analysis that I'm presenting in these videos. Uh, the chapter that is um, required for this week is chapter 12 uh, in uh, Galman Hill and Vitari regression and other stories. Uh, but I added some additional kind of optional readings uh, for you. One is kind of uh, focused a little bit more on this question of whether we're engaging in prediction or trying to explain or kind of explanatory analysis uh, in statistics and kind of trying to make this distinction of, you know, these fundamentally different tasks of prediction and explanation uh, a little bit more like explicit and explaining that a little bit more and why also prediction can be important for for uh, theory generation and so on. Uh, I also included an additional paper on Bayesian R square because we had some questions uh, uh, in the last Q&A session about uh, the interpretation of Bayesian R square so I added uh, one of the original uh, papers where this measure was presented and we'll talk more about that in the Q&A session as well uh, and then I added a last uh, paper uh, about potential kind of uh, discussing potential biases that come with uh, different types of nonlinear transformations. Okay, so make sure to check those out as well. Um, I won't cover them in this uh, uh, in these lecture videos, uh, but we will talk about them uh, in the Q and A session uh, as well. Okay, uh, then of course uh, you have to finish assignment three, which is posted on Canvas in our Studio Cloud. Uh, that is due on March the 12th, uh, that's the Friday. Um, <clears throat> and uh, lastly, uh, please start preparing your presentations for the replication proposal session, which is in the following week. Um, and uh, as I uh, mentioned already in our Q&A session, each of you will prepare uh, a short uh, five minute presentation on the paper that you like to replicate uh, in your final project. Okay, so uh, so that we kind of get an overview of what everyone is working on, what the challenges are, and what your plans are for improvements and so on. Okay, so that's the overview uh, for this week. I'm excited to uh, uh, kind of wrap up linear regression and move on to to uh, more advanced uh, topics. Uh, and with that, I'm going to move on to uh, the first video on linear, logarithmic, and other transformations.